Mammography saves lives, but what kind, when, and how often to get screened have been a source of debate. Now a study in Annals of Internal Medicine may help women and their doctors determine the best screening schedule for individuals based on their risk factors and tolerance for false positive results. Previous research has showed that false positive recalls lead to increased anxiety. Another type of false positive is a false positive biopsy recommendation. In that case, a woman's asked to come back for a biopsy, but no cancer is found. And false positive biopsy recommendations have been shown to be associated with pain and scarring. In the study, the majority of women receiving an annual mammography over 10 years had at least one false positive result. We found that if women participate in mammography every other year compared to every year, it reduces their risk of a false positive by about one third. The study also found that for those tested every other other year and diagnosed with cancer, there was a small increased probability for late stage cancer, a more serious result. Women should talk with their clinicians to work out their risk tolerance and their personal risk for breast cancer and determine a schedule that's most appropriate for them. Another study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine looked at the effectiveness of newer digital mammography versus older film testing. We found that for women age 50 to 79, the probability of finding a cancer was similar for digital and film screen mammography, but for women aged 40 to 49, especially those with dense breasts, digital was a bit more likely to find a cancer, but also had an increased risk of false positive results. Both studies suggest that women take a look at the full picture of their risks for developing breast cancer, then formulate a plan with your doctor on the best course of action to weigh the risk of unnecessary testing versus early detection. For more information, go to annals.org.